this is just a quick video about the Prusa 3 MKS, which is the latest release um, of their bigger, larger printers. Uh, I just ordered this one about a week ago. I, I ordered it as a kit and I built it up. It printed a bunch of stuff, printed perfectly. I have a couple of samples actually. Printed like just regular sample stuff that you could get on Thingverse. Quality was awesome. Like, I mean, you can't see it. I mean, you can see the little lines, but it looks for a filament printer. It's really, really good. The issue came when uh, I was printing another another item and uh, the printer basically crashed. And when printer crashes, one thing that could happen, it could create a blob of filament, melted filament, which mine did. Mine did a, a gigantic blob of filament. And the issue with that, usually it's easy to clear. You just bring up the temperature and you're able to pull this off with, um, with some pliers. In my case, it got behind the extruder, the hot end, and when it got, it got as high as the, the first fin, and when it did that, it pulled all the little wires, the little wires that the hot end has, it pulled them out so you could see bare metal. Um, so it kind of, it wasn't safe anymore to run this hot end. Uh, it also, it also melted the printed part where it holds, where it actually holds the, um, the hot end. You can see that it's printed. So after it did this, it wasn't printing straight anymore. So I could not, you know, I can no longer use it. Um, uh, so I basically I contacted support, let them know that, you know, this thing was printing beautifully and then it just got stuck one time and it did that damage. And I was hoping to get some kind of warranty, you know, at least get some of the plastic parts, maybe the hot end or any, any kind of support, but support, uh, apparently uh, it's not one of their greatest strengths because they were really not helpful at all. It, it takes forever to get, uh, there's really no, no, no way to email them. You got to basically hold on to, on, on the chat. And I did that probably about 50 minutes or so. And the person that that picked up was really not helpful. Basically, if you buy this as a kit and you build it yourself, there's no warranty. If anything breaks, they won't honor anything uh, unless they, you know, they basically blamed it on that. It wasn't calibrated. It wasn't clean. Uh, and th there was adhesion problems, adhesion problems on the first layer, which all of that was not true. I, you know, usually clean the bed after every print and the, the item was actually still stuck on the bed. It just, uh, I guess it was some buildup or, or maybe some, some filament got stuck somewhere on the, on the actual part and it created this. Another thing that I'd like to tell you is that these steel beds are awesome, but if you try to print ABS on them, I don't know if you could see that. ABS will get so stuck on this that it will basically rip out the coating on the steel bed. So within a week of having this thing, I've had issues with the bed. And I mean, now I have major issues with, uh, with the hot end. I printed some other parts trying to see if I could get this thing to work again uh, with my other printer. Um, but overall, super disappointed with Prusa. I mean, you, you spent uh, about $800 for a printer and you think you're going to get some kind of support. Uh, I have had other other Prusa clones, and the clones seem to work perfectly. Uh, my, the last one lasted me three years. It's in my basement right now, and uh, the, the only thing I broke on that one was uh, the SD card slot kind of came loose. So I, I just decided to buy, you know, the real brand. So hoping there will be a better printer. But if you live in the United States and you need any kind of support from these guys, just don't count on it. Really poor experience. Anyway, I'll finish my rant here uh, with my little broken Prusa. Uh, thanks. Bye.